Hello, hello everybody. And I thought it'd be a good time to make a video about snails. Oh, ugly, ugly pest snails. Just crowding the tank and making it look like crap. Well, let me tell you, these guys are awesome. And yeah, in some instances, instances where I am breeding and raising cluckoos, for some of those cluckoos that I throw in, these happen to be super reds. This one, thinking about doing something right there, if I can get the focus, turn not in the glare. But, the thing is, I see this on Facebook all the time. How do I get rid of snails? Well, in this, for this in tank in particular, and my other tanks where I raise plecos, this is a problem. When I start getting too many snails. So what I do, I just stick my hand in there. There are some snails. That's how hard it is, and you don't want to get all of them because you want you want lots of snails in here, especially. Come on, let's quit. They're all floating away. Just make sure we ain't got no baby plecos. And some snails in there are good. Now. In reality, if I had a tank like a puffer or something, these would just be puffer food, but I don't. So I'll probably just throw it out in the yard and feed them to the birds, to be perfectly honest. However, the best way for most people, most people are not trying to breed plecos. And so we can use snails as an indicator this is one of my shrimp only tanks and I'm not doing a water change by the way but <coughs> look hardly, those are all empty shells from when this was a crazy wild guppy tank and there were lots of everything in here there really is not hardly any snails because this is just a shrimp tank this tank back to this we are breeding super red bristlenose pluckos and they are the top priority in this tank well by that we have the snow population has exploded because green beans are getting dumped in this tank almost on a daily basis and then the problem I've run into and why I am physically removing snails oh I still want to keep a lot of them in here because they keep stuff under control this is the second time I'm going to be removing some snails from here but these guys my shrimp they have really been slowing down in fact I seen I haven't seen a buried one in months and yesterday I seen a buried one and happened to be last weekend I removed a whole whole bunch of snails so what it is the snails will outcompete the shrimp for food in this type of scenario I realize most people are not having tanks where they're throwing in a can of green beans every day and trying to breed Plecos and shrimp and all that in the same tank. So, my problems are unique. But, using them as an indicator, an indicator, say, I could probably, it's safe to assume, in this tank up here, I'm probably underfeeding it because there's not hardly any snails at all. 
And if you end up having situations like this, and you're not purposely trying to breed plecos, you're just throwing in way too much food. So, this tank, I'm trying to raise two juvenile plecos and get a green jay shrimp colony going in this tank right now. And you see there's some snails, not a lot. I like snails. Snails are awesome, I enjoy them. But, I mean, if you're just having a nice tank, a display tank, and you had this problem going on, that means you're feeding too much, man. Slow down. Pick out the snails you don't want. Or you don't even have to pick them out. Just start cut back on feeding and they will as there's less waste because obviously the fish and your main critters in the tank are going to get to the food first and that's why these guys are the cleanup crew scavengers eating what's left on the floor when you feed too much there's a whole lot left on the floor and so these guys populations just go eight Well, that's what the problem is. You can use snails. You should always have snails in any kind of natural tank. That's my feeling. And use them as an indicator. Are there getting to be too many snails in here? Probably means you're feeding your fish too much. Or even your snails. Or your snails. Your shrimp. If you have snails in a shrimp tank. If the snails are out competing everything, then feeding too much and that's the problem I'll come into I'm feeding a dump of can of green beans in this tank and I bet you half the can of green beans feed snails and then not uh, only out competing the shrimp so hopefully I get get a bunch of these shrimp or these snails out of here and the shrimp will start doing good again here's a shrimp only tank I feed a lot. It has some snails in it, but not a whole lot. And it has a lot, probably from what most, what most people consider. This is about the level of like a map. Quite a few snails. So, I've been seeing people talking about snails and how to get rid of them and how horrible and ugly they are on Facebook for quite a while now and I just people who don't like snails they just don't know what's going on to be honest snails are the best and vital if you have too many but put so much freaking food in there and they'll take care of themselves it really is that simple it really is I promise <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching. Bye.